So just like uh, our fabrics that we use for sewing, the threads that we use are also made up of lots of different fibers. For instance, thread made of cotton, polyester, silk, rayon. And I know the big question that comes up when you realize this is, well, do I have to use the same matching thread type i.e. cotton for a cotton fabric, what do I choose? Let's, um, in this video, I'm going to talk a real kind of introductory video to thread, thread types, what you can choose, why you might choose one over the other, so you can have some more informed choices for your thread, seemingly simple little thread in sewing your next garments. <laughs> Sewing friends, welcome back. I'm delighted to have you here. Welcome. Um, if you're actually joining us for maybe it's your first time here, Thread got you interested, <laughs> welcome. My name is Evelyn Wood and I'm the creator of VintageSewingSchool.com. And here on this channel, we focus everything on garment sewing and really focusing on the skills so we can improve and make the best garments that you've ever made, all the ones that are stuck here in your mind. Okay, now I get this question a lot. And this question actually came up for me in one of my Q&A sessions with uh, my members of Vintage Sewing School. It was asked, and I've heard it before, so that the main question is you all of a sudden realize that this little thread that you use, wait a minute, there's different types of thread? And then you think, am I using the right one? And then you realize there's cotton, there's polyester, there's rayon, there's silk, and then you go, oh my goodness, am I supposed to use the same thread fiber type, like cotton thread, if I'm using cotton fabric or polyester, if I'm using pot, what am I supposed to choose? <laughs> it gets quite overwhelming and you think I never put much thought into it. And I can definitely say that was my same experience. When I first started sewing, I put zero thought into thread. I just went to the store and got the one that was on the shelf as we all do, right? And so it's not that that is actually a bad thing at all, but let's talk all of this through. So we're going to cover uh, what are the different thread types, what they're good for, what they're um, not good for, how you can select um, better, what to actually, what are the things that you might want to checklist off in your choices when you're making your choice, what I use, and we'll cover all these things. So let's demystify some of this thread information. So the first and most, I think, biggest question that we get, should I use the same fiber type thread? i.e. cotton, if I'm sewing with cotton fabric, do I need the same type? Well, there is actually no real answer. It depends. It's really a personal choice even, not even it depends. So it's more about what you want to do and what you're trying to achieve in your garment. So let's start with a few, let's go over each of the different uh, thread fibers that you might find and talk a little bit about them because that will help you, I think, uh, understand what they're all for. And that's the first thing to actually navigate what we're looking at. So let's start with um, our all purpose, so all, many different names for it, polyester thread. So this is the most common thread um, by far. And it's, I know, at least for me in Australia here, uh, when I go to the shop, it's pretty much all the choice that we have is this all purpose, this so all polyester thread. And it is, as it describes, it's pretty much good for everything. It is strong, it is color fast, it will last a long time, I, it's polyester. <laughs> and it's really the weight that they do it in is pretty good for everything. And all our machines are pretty much geared up to sew something like that as, cause it's the sort of the most common, the most available, the most standard, so that is it. Let's go to cotton. And so, and I think we'll explain a little bit more when I say cotton versus polyester, you'll understand a little bit. So cotton is obviously from the cotton plant and it is cotton thread. And so it's really great. Um, you know, that's probably the most, like the next most accessible thread uh, fiber type I think we can get is cotton. There are many different types and there's more variation when you get to different types of thread. Other, if you step outside of the all purpose sewing box, then you have to consider things about weight of the thread. And we'll talk a little bit more about that at the, um, in a minute. But that means basically not so much the weight, I know, it's the thickness of the thread because there are different uses for the thickness. And that's a real main thing that you need. So, and just bear in mind, I say that now because as soon as you get away from all purpose thread, they're, they start talking about all these thicknesses and weights and you're thinking, what is this? So, and cotton is one of them. So cotton is wonderful. I've started using cotton and I'll talk more about my um, journey at the end. And it's a really great choice. It's strong, it's sturdy, it's good for almost anything. Um, and it's really quite good. Um, there's a few other different benefits and not so different benefits. So cotton is a more 
fluffy uh, fiber, so to say, as in it's short staple, um, f like filament fibers. And so that means that like each of the threads here have little strands of the fiber that is more fluffy to describe it for you. Uh, and that can cause a lot of fluff in your machine. Say different brands are going to be different. So this is where you go into some are wonderful and they do all sorts of mercerizing and all sorts of things to make them great. So it's not all cotton threads. Whereas polyester is obviously more like a plastic and it's spun out in like single threads. Um, and it's just like these tiny long, long fiber strands that don't have any little fluffy bits to them because they're, you know, a plastic and they're extruded from um, the machine. So there's no sort of extra fluff, so to say. Um, so there's something, you know, some of the differences there. One of the things with um, cotton is it might not last as long, but depending how long you need your garment for, that's another thing. When I used to do um, uh, lots of vintage restorations, one of the biggest things that I was always um, trying to restore was thread rot. And so this is where the actual thread, the, the thread that's been stitched all the seams, the thread's actually rotting away just through time. You know, these are garments... 70 years old uh, always usually happens around the underarms first and, and the high wear items and the, the thread actually just rots away because it's made of cotton back then and it is a natural product and so it does degrade with time um, whether as I said it's going to happen in our own lifetimes or not or something you want to consider the only other thing is it being wet a lot I wouldn't use a cotton thread for swimwear for example that's where your polyester thread really comes in because you know you don't want it to absorb the water a lot I would use definitely use that for swimwear okay the next main one you might find is linen this is another natural one mostly the linen threads that I've ever encountered are more for hand sewing and more decorative like um, top stitching etc and tend to be quite thick in nature but there's all different types Whenever you're looking at these, and this will come into embroidery ones, make sure it's a thread that is made for your sewing machine because there are threads and linen is one of them sometimes that are only really suitable for hand sewing and so not for your sewing machine. Um, so keep that in mind when you're looking at these sort of more boutique thread markets. So linen's a great choice, strong, sturdy, could be quite thick, decorative, nice and shiny and has all of its different uses for different types. But I don't think you'll find many for your sewing machine in that. Cotton is really what's used. Then we've got some other types and this is sort of the rayons and the silks. So these are more in the category by um, separately because they're often used interchangeably. So let's start with silk because rayon imitates the silk. So the silk threads are, as you imagine, the little silk strands, etc. So they're quite strong, but really super fine. So you will usually reserve silk threads for uh, embroidery because they're smooth and shiny and they give that lustrous look that we're looking for when we do embroidery. You can find silk threads and you would usually use these for say when you're making garments really lightweight garments and out of silk probably you would you would match it in this case because you want a super fine strong thread so it doesn't really matter that it's silk or say polyester or anything but it's about the weight you want the weight of the thread to match the garment and silk is a very fine one so that's when you use that on super fine like chiffon silk chiffon or silk satin you might want to use that sort of silk thread for that now rayon, rayon is really used in this purpose to imitate silk. We mostly use it for embroidery threads because it gives that nice lustrous shiny look that we want to the embroidery, right? And so that's what it's mostly used for. And again, lots of different weights, highly readily available um, for both embroidery and for sewing machines. So thread made for embroidery will not be as strong as thread made for sewing your seams. So just Keep note of that if you're looking for rayon thread um, is the embroidery thread tends to be not quite as strong, but it's, you know, possibly strong enough for what you need. So only you can decide that. So how do you know what thread to choose? Well, only you can really choose that. And it's mostly a personal choice. What you will start with, as we've already talked about, is the weight, the thickness, the thickness of the thread is the most the biggest factor in deciding. So you want to really match the fabric that you're using. So a thicker wool coat will probably do with a nice thick um, sturdy um, thread to match it and a super fine silk chiffon see-through um, blouse. You want a super fine thread to match the sort of the, the heaviness, the, the thickness, the weight of your fabric. And then other than that into fiber choice, it's really a personal choice. Um, whether you pick, you know, cotton or polyester or rayon or silk, it's really more of a personal choice at that point and what you want to achieve with it. Just make sure that it is a brand name. So avoid the generic, really cheap thread because what we call bad thread 
is a thing. And by bad thread, I mean you put it in your machine and you'll be sewing and all of a sudden it just keeps snapping like mid, mid on your machine and it just keeps breaking. Um, if it's, I mean, it can be caused by your machine, but if it's just one particular thread that's doing that, it's probably bad thread. And it, um, you know, it does have a shelf life. So stick with brand names and they're all pretty good. Your machine, however, will probably find that you'll like a particular brand. Your machine will just sew nicer with certain brand of thread. And it's always a wise idea to basically choose the one brand and stick with it because let me talk to you about what I do. So this idea of the one brand thread has come to me uh, more recently um, in speaking with my sewing machine mechanic because every machine is tuned with a certain type of thread. Now these threads are spun and they're all spun with a certain tightness, etc. And so as it comes off your bobbin, it's all tension to meet ex like the, the thread that's on the bobbin as well. So it really does pay to stick with one brand because they'll be made all the same and tensioned the same and go with it. So of course, I, like anyone else, I have quite a large collection, I've been sewing a long time, of all purpose polyester thread because I, I can tell you that was all that was available when I first started. And it's only really now recently that there's more um, availability of different types of thread. So, I am, however, moving to cotton thread because I like the natural feel of it. I really want to move to more natural everything and I will be moving to um, some cotton thread for most of my sewing. I'm just going to build it over time because no, I will not be getting rid of my whole collection of polyester threads because I have one in almost every color. It's just something I'm going to switch through to slowly because that's just the personal choice of mine. And I will sample, test, see what one I like, and then stick with one brand. I think that is really the way to go because then you're guaranteed, you know, the bobbin is filled with the same as the top and it will just all go smoother. So that is one big tip of the thread advice. No matter what you choose, just find a brand and stick with it. Okay, let me know what other questions do you have about thread? I'd really like to explore this topic a little bit more and in the comments down below. If you found the mega awesome brand that you love, uh, leave that down below for us because I'd love to sample them and I'm sure someone else will love to give it a try as well. So down in the comments, leave those for me. I do love, love, love reading those, so thank you. And I will also check the description box because I'll link some other videos that I think might be really, really useful in your sewing journey and where you're at now with the thread. Okay, happy sewing my friends. Until next time, <laughs> bye.